Hey guys, Box Header. Welcome to my new YouTube series where I find cool mechanics from other games and break them down to reverse engineer them in Unreal Engine 4. You can also participate and request mechanics that you would love to see in upcoming episodes as long as they're not extremely time consuming because I want to keep the episode short so you can absorb the learning material better by not getting bored or overwhelmed by the complexity of the mechanics that I'll be presenting in the videos. The requirements to follow along would be some basic Unreal Engine 4 knowledge, especially in general programming and blueprints. This is not a series for first timers, so I expect you guys to have some days, weeks, months of knowledge with game development and Unreal Engine 4 before di diving in. Now, let's jump into our first lesson. So in the video, we're going to be recreating the Destiny Super System, which is pretty simple. I've done it before in a multiplayer setting and it might look a little bit complicated but trust me it's pretty pretty simple when you like recreate the basic mechanics. So first uh, I got a video I did a, like a couple of years ago where I played Destiny. We're just gonna go over a couple of seconds or a minute of the video just to see the super system in motion let's say and see how it's built how we can reverse engineer it and then we're gonna move on to a real engine 4 where we're gonna recreate the system in the fastest way possible using blueprints so let's hit play let me lower the volume a little bit okay we can see that it passively regenerates when time passes duh and when you kill someone so there seems to be a fixed rate of regeneration that gets uh, modified based on intelligence, I think it's the set. So, when, depending on how high your intelligence set is, the faster that it increases. I haven't played Destiny since, like, years, so I don't know how the system is right now, I'm just judging by the video. So it regenerates naturally by time, depending on intelligence and it regenerates by killing players or enemies and when it's completed well you can see the progress in the progress bar and once it's completed you can see that it uh, shows a text on the screen a couple of units above the crosshair displaying the supercharge text which means it notifies the player exactly when it reaches the max amount so you can proceed to do whatever ability that is the super system so in our case we're just gonna recreate or just do a very simple version of the Nova Bomb which is I think that what the wizard did which is gonna be just a pretty huge small moving projectile that on collision it explodes it's not gonna deal damage or anything but just to get the basics down so let's go to Unreal Engine 4 right now alrighty guys we're gonna use the first person blueprint template that Unreal Engine 4 provides. You can just create a new project and set the first person blueprint template as your project. And you're gonna be on this screen right now. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to settings, project settings, input on the left side, and we're gonna create a new input, which is gonna be called super ability. We're gonna press, well, we're gonna type here Q. That's gonna be our super Q or super ability input, which is gonna be Q. We're gonna close. And we're gonna look for first person character blueprint, which is inside first person blueprint folder and blueprints. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna start creating our variables and functions here that are gonna take care of everything related to the super system. First, we need to create a variable which is going to be a float and it's going to be called super energy and we're going to create another float called super energy regeneration rate that's going to be how fast or how slow our energy is going to regenerate during time alrighty so right click in an empty spot and we're gonna call for event tick because it's gonna regenerate every single tick to look to look smooth like the super bar in energy in destiny I mean sorry 
so we got this now right click empty spot custom event we can create a function but it, just to make it a little bit more clearer we, we're gonna create a custom event we're gonna call this generate energy or just regenerate super and we're gonna call this here so event tick is gonna call this function every single tick or every single frame in the game now that we got that we're gonna work on the regeneration math which is basically super energy we're gonna get this and we're gonna add the regeneration rate there's multiple ways of doing regeneration I'm just gonna do it really simple and just add super energy with our regeneration rate which we're gonna set to 0 0.001 which is gonna be pretty slow but we can modify this so you can see how fat and fast and how slow it's gonna regenerate so we're gonna set super energy and before we connect this we're gonna clamp this clamp float and we're gonna clamp it between 0 and 100 so it never goes above 100 and we're gonna print the amount of super for now just to see he, if it's working or not we're gonna open this and just put it to yellow just for viewing pleasures uh, it's running yep perfect compile go back to the map and let's hit play see how it works so you can see on the left side it's constantly regenerating it's regenerating really slow so just quickly take the super energy regeneration rate and just put it 0 0.01 compile go back and you can see now that it's going a little bit quicker let's just leave it like this for testing purposes so we got the regeneration now we need uh, a, an event or a function to add super energy in case of destiny they use uh, the orbs that drop when you kill enemies and do supers whatever so again you can use a function or an event I'm just using an event to have everything right here in the screen so right click custom event we're gonna call this add super energy okay this event is gonna be called from the orbs that are gonna drop so when the player picks up an orb it's gonna call this function so we need a parameter an input to specify how much energy we want to add to our player so let's put energy to add and we're gonna make this a float nope float perfect okay same thing as before we're gonna copy clamp and set we're gonna put this we just want to make sure we never go above 100 or below zero and we're gonna put energy to add to our value in our clamp node and I, well this is gonna run every single frame so we're gonna we're gonna delete this later on once we get to the to the hut part of the tutorial so we got this let me quickly comment add super energy runs the regeneration event and does the regeneration math okay so we're gonna compile and save now we got our basic stats working so it regenerates and it adds super energy perfect now we're gonna go to the visual part we're gonna display the super energy as a progress bar so our player can actually see how much super energy we got and we're gonna also do the text that shows up in the middle of the screen for notifying the player so let's get to that 